How long does a face auger need to plant a xenomorph embryo in a host? In Alien 1979, the face auger attached to Kane requires hours, perhaps even a whole day, to complete the implantation process. But then came along Alien Covenant to take a massive dump on the established lore. Nine, 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 nine. In Alien Covenant, Lope gets attacked by a facehugger, which is then removed using a knife. A knife, okay. Anyway, the facehugger is only attached to Lope for a few seconds, yet still manages to impregnate him, and he gives birth to a Xeno by the end of the movie. It's worth mentioning that this Xeno is a protomorph, not the Xenomorph XX121, aka the classic Xeno, so perhaps the life cycle is slightly different. However, it doesn't make sense that later iterations of the facehugger would have a less efficient and longer implantation process. So the question is, how long does it take for a facehugger to impregnate a host? And why does the facehugger attached to cane take so long to complete its process? In the initial report from the Nostromo medical findings, it suggested that the facehugger actually replaces human cells with its own, perhaps through some sort of mutation. Perhaps the facehugger is analysing its host in order to not kill it, and figuring out a way on how to best adapt the future xenomorph for its new environment. It's possible that future facehuggers spawn from a queen that have adapted to the new host, aka humans, will take less time. It's also possible that humans in general have a low compatibility with the xenomorph species, so the facehuggers have to work longer to complete the implantation process. Anyway, let's look at the implantation times for each movie. Alien, 6 to 18 hours. As mentioned earlier, Kane is implanted. He's brought on board, and after the crew's had sufficient time to have an exciting game of Hunt the Facehogger, conduct brief repairs to the Nostromo, and get back into space, certainly no more than 18 hours tops. We see the iconic chestburster scene. Aliens, 3 to 6 hours? I'm Ron Burgundy? We don't actually see anyone being facehugged that subsequently gives birth in this film. In a deleted scene, Burke complains of being able to feel an alien inside him, suggesting that it's entering its final phase of gestation, just a few hours after implantation. This conflict with Alien 1979 may be the reason they decided to remove the scene. Alien 3, 4 to 36 hours, depending on the species. Depending on your preferred cut, we see three lifeforms implanted with eggs. A dog, a cow, and a human. In the theatrical cut, Ripley's brought into the facility and remains unconscious for a few hours, possibly as much as a day, during which time a dog is implanted and a chestburster emerges. In the assembly cut, an ox is implanted and chest bursts within no more than three to four hours, depending on how much time it took Ripley to regain consciousness, get examined and get dressed. Ripley herself is implanted during hypersleep, and it gestates for approximately two to three days in real time, with the queen embryo emerging as she dies. But that was a queen, so maybe it takes longer than usual. Alien Resurrection, four to eight hours? The entire events of the film, ignoring the off-screen action that happens before the arrival of the crew of the Betty, appears to take place over a single 24-hour day. During that time, Purvis is facehugged, implanted, and gives birth all within that single day, potentially in a matter of several hours. I'll skip Prometheus as we only witness an engineer falling victim to a body hugger. The engineer later gives birth to a deacon. The time period is unclear. It could be hours, days, or even weeks. There's no reference point. Alien Covenant. Less than a minute. In Alien Covenant, Lope receives a facehugger to the face, which is cut off within less than a minute. However, the implantation is successful and he gives birth to a chestburster a few hours later. How on earth did this happen? This is definitely the shortest impregnation time yet. One theory going around is that David must have infected Lope in the medbay. At the end of the movie, we witness David placing Xeno embryos in the freezer. That pesky David. Like I always say, Never trust an android. Anyway, what do you make of all this? How long does it take for a facehugger to impregnate a human? Why does the protomorph facehugger impregnate so quickly? Or was it the doing of David? Please let me know in the comments below. Now onto my Patreon squad. For as little as a dollar a month, you can join this Patreon squad panel. Now introducing a free message. So yeah, become my patron and I'll add your name and message in this panel at the end of every video. And if you don't want to join Patreon but want to help the channel anyway, follow these steps. First subscribe, then like the video, then share it. Twitter, Facebook, Insta, whatever. This is so useful that it might as well be a $5 donation. If you really want to help, leave a comment too. YouTube loves engagement. Also, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram.
Oh, and turn on notifications. If you don't hit the bell icon, YouTube hides uploads. Why? Also, check out my store for some viral merchandise. Okay, I'm done.